is going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today, we have a bit of a feeding video. I'm about to show you the super food that your reef tank needs that you didn't know you needed. That's a very confusing sentence, but we're gonna just roll the tape. Not only are we using Reef Energy Plus AB Plus, not only are we using this, we're also using, drum roll please, Polyp Labs Reef Roids. This is actually gonna be the first time I do this. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on, new videos every week, new fish videos every single Friday. Also, don't forget to check out the merch. I know most of my fish tank audience is men, so although I am wearing a woman's assaulted shirt, most of our apparel is for men. Go check out the link in the description. Bunch of stuff if you like fishing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm not really sure. All right, no, I am sure. I know what I'm doing, all right. So, do I? Do I though, really? By the way, so Subi was doing good from ick. I did a water change like two days ago and I did see a couple pieces of ick on her again. However, it has gone away again. So, I'm hoping this time she was stronger to fight it off real quick. I don't know. For everybody who does know a lot about ick though, I know you guys were saying it goes in cycles. How many cycles does the fish have to get through before like the ick will go away? If, if that makes sense. How many times does she have to get it and then fight it off before she, like it, it will be good? Yeah, you understand? All right, cool, drop a comment down below, let me know. All right, so let's um, open up the tank. Well, that sounded real good. All right, that's gonna be our little, it's gonna be our little nice shelf. So we're gonna use a little cut off water bottle to make our mixture in. We got our Reef Energy uh, Plus, AB Plus. It's gonna be our main, main component there. And then we got our Polyp Labs Reef Roids here, which we are going to mix in. Finally, I got a little here so that we could spot feed. Sorry guys, I'm freaking you out in there. My apologies, my apologies. So that's what we got to work with. Before I do that, so I did get some responses back on uh, some forms I posted on and stuff, what, what was going on on my back, great back there. And it seems that my little glowing friends are red bubble algae. Some people mentioned that maybe it's glowing because it's so close to the light. Somebody else mentioned that my, uh, my grate could use a bit of cleaning and they said I could take it out, but I tried and I don't think this one comes out. I think maybe that's the uh, Red Sea Reefer that comes out. If you know how to get this grate out on the Red Sea Max, let me know. The other thing I did was I moved this rock, which was kind of wobbly. I moved it in a little bit more because my hand was having trouble cleaning the glass here. I scooted that in, almost caused a disaster with these other rocks that were falling off, but we, we made it happen and everything is so far, so good. Just hopefully a fish doesn't blow on it. Shout out to Richard and Reefmore for telling me to like wear a glove and stuff when trying to clean my tank to not get my little shitty clownfish to bite me. Freaking worked. Didn't even know I was in there. It was like I was a ninja. First up, we're gonna do the red, uh, the Reef Energy Plus in our contraption. It's like dripping because you're supposed to keep this in the refrigerator, you know? So you're supposed to shake it real bit. Four milliliters per hundred liters, which is 25 gallons. This is a 65, usually when I dose. I know you guys are gonna say this is wrong because you're supposed to do it exact, but I just double it and do it on a 50 gallon, but because you know, it's just good enough. Four milliliters times two, I'm gonna dose eight milliliters of the, uh, I've said the name like six times and I keep forgetting it. Reef Energy AB Plus. So. All right. I'm literally terrible at pouring this stuff. That wasn't too bad, actually, guys. Heck yeah. All right, so, oh, I made a mess with this thing. Looks like a little, you know, like, yellowish, greenish. So I had to add a little more because my measurements were a little off, but. All right, so we're, we're sitting at about the eight to 10 milliliter mark. That's gonna be, that's gonna be good. We're gonna give that a little pour in our little container here and get that out of the way. All right, now, to make the super food, we add a little bit of reef broids in there too, you know what I mean? Why is this spoon bent like this, Jason? Unless they give it to you like this. I don't know, this is weird. He just puts a little, a pinch, but he has a 120, so maybe I should do like a pinch like, like maybe like that? Maybe a little less? I don't know guys, I'm a little nervous. We're gonna just dump this in here, like so. Doesn't seem like a lot, I must say. Maybe I should put some, should I make some water in it, maybe? 
because now I don't I feel like it's not going to be neon green when it goes into the tank. The whole reason I did this video is because I wanted the neon green to go through my tank and now it looks like freaking poo poo brown. Oh my goodness. All right, let's turn off the pumps. So I completely messed up this video. So what I'm going to do because you came here for a show, I'm going to do broadcast feeding and direct feeding. So I'm going to do a little more of this than is rec uh, than is advertised here that I put in my thing because I'm going to do it just by itself so that you can get the lime green color flowing through. You know what I mean? I don't know. How bad could it be if you do double? It will be fine. I don't do this every day. Next, next Fish Friday. Tank is like being broken down. That's not funny. I'm not going to joke about that. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. People said to turn these lights to blue so you can get more, a little more satisfying. Uh, let's go deep blues like that. I need to leave just pump, just my flow pump on. And here, here's the moment of truth. Are we going to get a green or what? Whoa. Wow, is it? That's all. This is much cooler in a 120 gallon tank. Oh look, it's over there already too. Well, that was a great video, guys. A, a for effort, you know? We're gonna give that a second before we do the direct feeding, so be back in like five minutes. Yeah, so that was, that was a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm disappointed for you for, you know, watching that green stuff come into here. Fact of the matter is, it is still a superfood. Just because it didn't look as cool in my tank as it usually does in other people's tanks doesn't mean anything. All right, so we did the broadcast feed with the attempted lime green coverage. Didn't work out as planned. So now we're going to do direct feed with the little brownie reef roid and, uh, and, uh, and uh, reef energy AB plus mixture that we got going on here. It's got a nice little pasty con you know, consistency to it because of the powder. Since we're direct feeding, we're gonna make sure we turn off both pumps. All right. Oh, oh, that was almost bad, guys. Gosh, it's like I've never owned a fish tank before. We got a little bit of that. Let's go to the little Duncan over here. Disregard that algae that's growing on the floor. Oh, it is still green. Yeah. Wow. So you guys came here for a show and I'm gonna give you a show. So since I now know that it's still green, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna siphon it into the tube and put a string across the whole tank so that way we get a nice little disbursement of the green flowing in the tank. How's that sound? Good? Okay, cool. Make sure since I'm going through all this effort that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on new fish videos every single Friday. Hey, thanks, Mike. Let's feed this guy some more. Sometimes life's not fair, and you just gotta, they got taken care of with the broadcast, you know, that's what I'm gonna say. Got some good, uh, I mean the corals are all, these guys sucked it all up too. The fishies don't seem to be too panicked. In Jason's tank, he says that they don't really like it and they kind of just spaz out. We seem to be all right over here. Some good polyp extension on the asparagus back there. Even the hermit wants some. I believe I'm supposed to turn my flow pump back on so that like it can keep circulating. So I'm gonna do that. There you have it, you know, per usual that didn't go as planned, but it's okay. The coral got the nutrition they need, which is what is important. This stuff, I probably should have told you earlier, but hey, if you made it this far, you're interested. So an organic complex of dissolved and suspended carbohydrates, amino acids, fatty acids, and vitamins essential for coral vitality, growth, and coloration. I know, I should do an audiobook. Reef Roy's is engineered coral food. With continued use, your corals will never experience faster growth and coloration. So yeah, put them both together and you got like a little superfood, a little super baby. Sorry, the, uh, the lime greenness was 
underwhelming, but thanks for watching. Make sure to try this superfood for yourself. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for the merch. There is a lot of men's merch, so check it out if you're into fishing and that kind of stuff, saltedgear.com. That's gonna do it for this Fish Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We're posting new videos every single week, and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Of course, my dog can stop, start barking. Yogi, keep it down a notch. We got a fish fry to take care of, all right? <laughs>